is going on guys my name is Ben how are you guys doing today what I have for you today in this video is another Android app review called ringtone maker now obviously you can tell by the name you know, already that basically this app allows you to create your own custom ringtones now I know of Android you know you can so pick a song in the settings and then just have it automatically set to you know, certain points of the track uh, and use that as your ringtone well if you're somebody like me who it's very picky and wants a specific spot to play as uh, my ringtone then uh, you'll know that this is not uh, the app or that's not the case uh, that you want so what I'm gonna do is show you guys this app and you know you can download this in the Google Play Store which obviously it's available for uh, pretty much almost every Android device out there unless uh, if you're not updated to the latest software but this is basically your main menu right here and you just you, know, you have your list of songs right here and you can hit the search button so that you can search for uh, a certain track maybe uh, a certain order, artist you can also do a voice search if you wanted to or actually you can record your message then of course you hit this button right here for additional no options you can hit scan now it, it can scan through your music library you can rate browse and you know you can contact preferences and which is basically uh, your settings right here and you can actually uh, pick the folder path right here all right and then you have more right here and you basically have some additional settings right here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you know, the whole point of this app is so you can create your own track or your own ringtone. So I'm going to hit browse because there's a certain, there's a particular track that I want to use. And let me just find it here. I do apologize if you see my phone flip over. I'm just have it prop up on something now. All right, and I'm gonna pick this one right here. And then, as you can see, this is the whole interface for the song right here. Now, with my Galaxy Note 4, my ringtone is gonna last for uh, about 20 seconds. So I'm gonna, I'm only gonna make this ringtone 20 seconds long. There's no point in making it into 30 seconds, although from what I remember with the iPhone, you know, you can make it at least 30 seconds long. I did the same thing with this phone, but it didn't play the whole 30 seconds, so it's only gonna ring for 20 seconds, which I'm thinking that was the case for the iPhone as well. I don't know why I was thinking, you know, 30 seconds can be the max, but if you want it to be the max, uh, that's up to you. All right, and you can also hit play right here so you can play the track. And you don't hear right now because I have headphones on due to copyright, so, I kind of got uh, an idea where I want to play, where I want my ringtone to play. So I'm going to drag this right here. Drag it all the way down. And I'm going to play it just to make sure that I'm at the right spot where I want it. Okay, so that's almost there. Let me just move it a tad over. Uh, just a little tad over and hit play all right so that's about where I uh, wanted to be now you have start and end right here start negative obviously you can you know, move it back more now uh, positive you can in uh, increase it uh, increase your starting point and for N, you know, same thing, vice versa, except you're editing the end right here. Now, where I'm starting is 102.40, which is in seconds. So I'm going to do, since I'm, oops, don't want to do that. Since I'm making this only 20 seconds long, I'm going to just add 20 seconds to it. So 102.40, I'm going to do 122. Oh, not 22. 122. It's a little uh, iffy sometimes. It might be due to my device all right and i'm gonna hit done 
And sometimes it might round it, round it back a little. Me personally, I like to keep it exact. You don't have to. It's just uh, the way I want it to be. All right, so I'm gonna close out my keyboard and I can play it one more time just to make sure it's where I want it. And I'm listening to it right now. You just can't hear it because I have my headphones on. All right, that's how I want it. And it sounds good to me. All right, and obviously you have this one right here. No for more options. You have this one right here. Which now wasn't doing anything. Oh, it can you can save it as well. Now, to save this as my actual ringtone, you're gonna hit this button right here. And of course I can rename it however I want it. Alright, and your type can be ringtone. You can also do music alarm notification. So you can basically change it to, okay, what kind of song type it is. I'm going to keep it on ringtone, and I'm going to hit save. And now you have a couple options right here. So you can make this your default ringtone, or you can assign it to uh, a specific contact uh, of your want if you need uh, to do that. And you can also hit share. You can share it to, uh, you know, multiple places, like so. But what I want to do is... I want to keep it as my default ringtone, which I'm thinking it already saved already. So let me go check in the settings. So on the Galaxy Note 4 with Android, you go to the settings right here and you hit device, sounds and notifications, ringtones, and my ringtone should pop up right here and it's right there and if i play it you know uh, it's gonna uh, play exactly the uh, spot that i wanted to be all right so let's go back into the app and overall it's just a simple app in terms of creating your own ringtones i mean all i did was just show you how to make a ringtone and just to let you guys know how easy it is you know i feel like this was a lot more simpler than the ringtone maker app i used to use with my iphone right here yeah, because this was a little bit more detailed and it gives me a specific time frame so that I can pick the exact time frame that I want whereas the one I did for the iPhone I can't remember uh, uh, which one uh, what the name of that app was but from what I remember you know I had to uh, uh, drag and drop and it just wasn't a pleasant experience especially when you're trying to uh, create media on a smartphone or a mobile device and in this case with the Galaxy Note 4 5.7 inch screen and uh, you know basically give me a variety of ringtone making apps this was uh, one that I chose that I saw right on the spot on Google on the Google Play Store and I really enjoyed using it I'm able to create as many custom ringtones as I want the way I want it so on a 1 to 5 scale I definitely give it I would say probably a four out of five I mean there there are some bugs right there such as okay when I was you know trying to round it trying to round my end time to exactly the way I want it and sometimes it just kind of you know, pushes it back a little so I have to hit the positive button again to make it exactly the way I want it and you know I just wish that there was a way where I don't have to scroll through my whole list of songs right here uh, I mean, I wish there was a little tab somewhere. It says, okay, albums. Then you can hit a specific album that you want or a specific playlist or, uh, you know, I mean, all I'm, I'm doing right here is going through my list of songs. And, you know, while this isn't a, a bad thing, what if, like, I have too many, what if my music playlist was too big or too long and I would have to scroll through each one? But thankfully, I have this browse uh, button right here but at the same time you know uh, I think having an albums button uh, or a playlist button of some sort would have made it a lot easier because one thing I will give the other app I did for the iPhone it gave me that ability it let me pick an album it let me pick the playlist I just wish that it was a little more user friendly I mean there's probably an app like this that I've used on Android for the iPhone but for the one I did the review on you know 
this was a little bit more detailed and this is pretty much kind of the only thing I wished for. So other than that, you know, this is a great ringtone making app. If you guys really kind of want to set your ringtone at a specific spot, I definitely recommend you guys download this one and a link will be in the description below to the Google you know, Play Store. And, you know, try to see if it works on, on your device. You, you probably don't have a Galaxy Note 4 like I do here. You know, maybe you have the LG G4 or the Galaxy S6, uh, you know, or the uh, HTC uh, One MA. You know, there are a variety of Android devices out there. I mean, I don't see why this wouldn't work for it unless if you don't see it on the Google Play Store. So, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also, check out my description below for my social media links, Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.